What amazes me most about this tactic is how attacking it actually is. Three players or in the advanced forward role, and yet Union Berlin, who are predicted to finish around relegation zone, finish in fifth place in a Europa League spot. That's actually quite outstanding, really. Season preview has them down in 15th. So another tactical masterclass by Ryan Cassidy. Yes, before we take a look at more of the results from this tactic and the tactic itself, of course, which you can find a link for that in the Discord. So go to the link of the Discord, click that, and you'll find it under Ryan's Tactics. Should you wish to download this tactic and try it for yourself, all of his results and everything is posted in there too. I also have a link for the brand new game. Football Manager 2022 has been announced. The release date is the 9th of November, and the beta will be out two weeks before. And I have a coupon code. If you use my link down in the description, it will take you to a website. That means it's a commission-based link, which means I actually benefit from it too. And you buy it using my link, use code omega at checkout and you get yourself a little bit of a discount that's my present to you for the new game let's get straight in the way though by the way that goes straight into your steam account you get a cd key and you plug that into your steam and it's there already done for you lovely stuff what also is quite outstanding with this tactic is it finished runners up in the dfb pokal okay so that is a phenomenal season for union Berlin. a really good season their player there finished finished in third place at the top score 21 goals we're not really in around the um the goals that the player stats what about the team overview are we in any of this i mean most goals were third in the league for most goals i would expect that to be honest uh, most shots we are nowhere near so we're actually quite clinical considering how many goals we score compared to the rest of the league all right okay let's have a look at the result then i'll take you through the tactic itself look at that most tackles won as well another team overachieving is newcastle now the premier league i think is definitely the hardest league to be successful in this year there's just so many good teams and somehow we've got Newcastle finishing sixth place above Tottenham, Wolves, Everton, Leeds, West Ham. There's a few clubs in there that I'm very surprised with. Villa, Leicester all having stinkers of seasons. And yet Newcastle finishing in sixth place in Europa League spot comfortably as well. Five points ahead. Callum Wilson, however. I mean, we all know Ta Callum Wilson's a bit of a cheat code as it is. But he did score 37 goals this season. That's a bit bonkers really, isn't it? In 38 games that he played, 37 goals. He started every game. And only four of them were penalties as well. 8 assists, 9 player of the matches. That's extraordinary stuff from Callum Wilson. Absolutely unbelievable from you, son. St. Maxim got the second most assists. So, yeah, quite a good performance. As we can see, the most goals as well. 88 goals compared to Liverpool's 86. And yet we finished in 6th place. Most tackles were won yet again. Most shots were we near that. 5th place in most shots. Conceded. Now, that's where I think... We are actually conceding, but I don't think it's too much. So I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, so the tactic itself does look very strange because it is so attacking. Three advanced forwards up front. St. Maxine, obviously not really an attacker. So this tactic, the fact that it, we're doing this with Newcastle, with players that don't necessarily fit the tactic, I actually think is even more impressive, really, when you think about it, because Newcastle don't really have three really good strikers. So if you do have two good strikers and, a, and an average one, I mean, they got Andy Carroll on the bench. Maybe you should have used Andy Carroll. Anyway, if they used three very good strikers, you probably do better. You probably do very better. A Mazala on attack, one of my favourite roles, of course, an attacking playmaker on support, an advanced playmaker on support, ball and a midfielder on defence. You've got three... Uh, the two at the back, sorry, on ball player defence as well. The complete wing back on attack. These are giving them a licence to bomb forward and a sweeper keeper on defence. We are going to go through and let's take a look at all of the uh, instructions. Should you not be able to download the tactic, you can just copy it. Especially if like you're on Xbox, for instance, and you can personally see each one of these. And then we'll go through and have a look at the actual team instructions. So it is an attacking mentality, and in possession we can see we're passing into space. We've got a standard attacking width there. We are overlapping, but we're using the middle quite intelligently, to be honest, because we don't have wingers. None of this is selected. That's unusual. Usually you see a work ball into the box. We've got a slightly more direct passing directness and an extremely high tempo. Run up defense. I like that one and be more expressive. I never know whether that works too well. In transition, a counter press, but it's not a counter. Does this mean it's not a Gagan press? Well, when you get the ball, it's not, it's no really instruction. There's no instruction to bomb forward or it's no instruction to hold your shape. It's a bit in between. I like that. Something different from Ryan Cassidy. Distributing the ball quickly to our defenders for a short kick. 
and out of possession we can see we're using the offside trap much high line of engagement and a high defensive line that usually works quite well i think uh, not using tight marking but extremely urgent pressing intensity and preventing the short goal kick distribution getting stuck in probably going to see a lot of fouls probably going to see a lot of yellows make sure you've got some backups last but not least defensive width is force the opposition outside so in other competitions the fa cup the fifth round the carabao cup the third round it's not too important the league is what newcastle really want to focus on they finish in sixth place i think they'd be absolutely buzzing with that now we're going to look at more of a mid-table team here with fiorentina fifth place which is not bad because i actually manage fiorentina in my twitch say twitch.tv forward slash megaloop gaming if you want to continue that we're at spurs now funny enough my dad's team fifth place for fiorentina we finished in 10th so five times better or five positions better anyway 67 points just two points away from Lazio and they lost that last game of the season obviously which meant that they fell out of the top four if we do take a look at past positions it's really unfortunate they were in the top four for the last couple of games there so that's a shame but still a great season finishing in Europa League for Fiorentina we can see Kwame and Frank Rubri both getting on the most assists there so I'm intrigued to see where they are playing but first before we do that let's look at competitions winner of the Italian Cup god this is a good season this is a very good season I'm I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at the tactic then and see where they were playing. So Kwame and Ribery were either side of Vlahovic. Interesting. I like that. Castrovilli is going to be the man there. I think Castrovilli, let's see if we, he had a good season. He did, to be honest. A 6.8. It's okay. Four goals, five assists. Average season, to be honest. So if anybody used Castrovilli and got the best out of him, I did struggle myself. Until I made him a Mazalon attack or Mazalon support, one of the two. I did struggle getting the best out of him. But here, below average. I've gone lower each time. I said he's had a good season, average season. Now he's below average. Might as well just sell him. Might as well just sell him. Now, with Ryan Cassidy being a Liverpool fan, you know he's going to test this with his beloved Liverpool. And he's done that. And he's got a treble out of it. Quadruple if you count the Community Shield. Nobody counts the Community Shield. Also, knocked out the quarterfinals of the Champions League by Man United. Ha ha ha. <laughs> they won the league by nine points, though. So I can't laugh too much. They won the FA Cup. Who did they beat in the FA Cup? Arsenal after extra time as well. Carabao Cup. Man City, 2-0. Dominant performance from Liverpool here. Uh, if we do take a look at the Premier League, Saidio Mane and Mohamed Salah both getting 28 and 29 goals respectively. And Trent, who is not a midfielder, according to Jurgen Klopp, managed to get 19 assists. So that is very powerful in that complete wing-back role. It's probably his favourite role and he's probably one of the best on the game in that role if we do take a look at how he set up all he did for this one was set up the defense and the goalkeeper and left the rest to the assistant manager that's unlike ryan and i'm happy he's done that because it just shows that it doesn't matter too much and it's worked it's just worked for him so i'm pleased for that so this is what it is like when you have an elite team using this tactic 108 goals to arsenal's 89 most points per game most shots by 50 almost. Fewest shots against, they were there in fourth possession, they were down in eighth, but who needs possession when you're scoring this amount of goals? Most clean sheets were United, but Liverpool were there in second place, so it can be good defensively if you are an elite team. I think that's quite important to get inside of our brains, viewers. If you are an elite team, this, this tactic's also good defensively, which I know this because I have actually used this in the Ronaldo challenge that I did of trying to win a treble. They actually did really well. I did concede a lot of goals using that Acid Lightning, this tactic, which of course you can find in the Discord. So make sure you go take a look. So there we have it. He's also done it with PSG, Ajax and Real Madrid. All of them very successful, but this was the most successful out of the elite team. So I've shown you an elite, a mid-table side and more of the bottom half as well. And all around, quite a successful tactic indeed. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do have a chance at testing this tactic yourself or using it, let me know down in the comments how you get on. Remember, you can download the game or buy the game and get yourself a discount code using code omega at checkout if you use my link and you got things like into the am i'm an affiliate of into the am the clothing brand and nord vpn if you want to you get yourself a vpn i also have an affiliate link to that as well so if you purchase one of those things i get commission for it so i thank you very much for everybody who has been doing that so far and uh, well that's it i'll see you for the next one it's a rebuild on monday so you, you i know you're gonna be excited for it doesn't even matter who it's gonna be you're gonna be excited for it see you then Bye bye